Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to uh, the continuing tour of Fiona in England. Um, at this point in time, she is currently at Stonehenge. I have some things to tell you. First of all, this is Stonehenge. Second of all, you're not allowed to go up near Stonehenge because it's all barricaded off so then all the little people, of which there are many, 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 many people, I couldn't believe it, when we were driving up the road, there was this person after person after person, look all beanie clad individuals everywhere, see all those little black shapes, that's people. And then, another thing, why at a sacred site, a Neolithic site in fact, would you build a highway? Way, which kind of takes away from the kind of emotiveness of it. Highway. Now, it's really, 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 really cold. Um, Stonehenge is very impressive and, but the thing is it would be a little bit more impressive if you could kind of experience it maybe by yourself, um, without so many people or maybe just even five people at once and it's kind of kind of gross that you're walking around um, taking happy snaps and everyone else is and it's like yeah yeah I've been to Stonehenge rather than there being any purpose in it anyway here I am can't believe I'm here it's turning the Stonehenge freaking freezing I thought London was cold I don't really know what I'm talking about um there's two uh, Spanish girls there as well not all Spanish girls are pretty just so you know Stick with the Aussies, that's what I say. Um, and a nice Japanese girl as well. Very, very sweet. Um, anyway, so this is me in in at Stonehenge. I'm gonna go show you it again before I have to put my hand back in my pocket because it's too cold. <sighs> God. A tall guy is wearing a t-shirt. T-shirt. How is that normal? Anyway. Yeah.